All right, can I have everyone's attention? Good morning and welcome to Richmond International Raceway. We're going to kick off today's media availabilities with Daniel Suarez, driver of the number 19 Aris Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. Daniel, you're making your first start at Richmond in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, but are no stranger to this track. Can you take us through your experience here at Richmond and how your team is prepping for Sunday's race? Well, Richmond has been, uh, been a good place for me. Actually, uh, last week it was very funny because uh, I saw on Facebook uh, that uh, last week, three years ago, I, I did my debut here in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. So I thought that was that was pretty cool. Uh, it's crazy how the time goes very, very fast. And now uh, be able to be uh, in, the, in the most energy NASCAR Cup Series is something very cool. Uh, and not just that, the racing as well, the Xfinity Series is still uh, it's something that is going to be uh, obviously special, like every single weekend. and. Uh, and a lot of fun uh, this weekend here in Richmond. All right, we'll open up the floor for questions. We'll go right here to Tom and then Kelly. Hey, Daniel, Tom Jensen, FoxSports.com. Does the fact that we're in a generational change now with, with so many veterans retiring, is that more opportunity for you young guys coming up through the ranks now? Well, I, I believe that there is always opportunity. Um, you know, there, there is a lot of young drivers out there racing in, in, in trucks, in Xfinity, in, in the Canaan, where I came from, in lay models, uh, even in different countries, in Mexico, in Canada. There is a lot of talent out there. And uh, sometimes uh, we don't even notice uh, until we turn back and see what all these kids uh, and talent are doing. So. Uh, I think it definitely helps, uh, but as well, all these drivers that now they are, uh, you know, either retiring or, or, or they are um, big names in the sport. They, they they have helped a lot to 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 make what the sport is today. So, uh, you know, just very happy to be here. Very far, to, very, very happy as well to be one of the drivers of the new generation and. Uh, and try to, to have another, a lot of fun. And at the same time, actually, trying to help some of the new generations as well that are coming, uh, you know, in my side from, from Mexico. I have actually two two friends that are living in my house, uh, and they, they are racing late models and came in, and, and they are trying to, to make, you know, their way through. And, and, and it's always good when, when someone uh, can, can give you a hand. So. I think I think it's it's a lot of talent out there, and and and, and eventually they 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 they're, make, they're going to make their way through. Kelly Crandall, Racer.com. Daniel, can you just break down what you think your strengths and strengths and weaknesses have been so far since being in the Cup car? Well, it's been it's been a lot of going on for sure. Uh, very different uh, than the Xfinity series, but uh, but overall, just. It's just, it's just very easy to to be to be off. Uh, seems like when you when you are off in the cup car, you are you are 25th, uh, and when you are off in the Xfinity car, you can run, you can still run 10 or 15. So uh, it's it's quite a bit different. Uh, I feel like we were going to we were going through a good direction uh, maybe, maybe a month and a half ago, and then obviously we we had some changes that were you know over our hands, and and I feel like. You know, we, we had to start again on this learning process in the cop car because obviously Scott, he, he's a very good, uh, very, very smart crew chief. Uh, he knows a lot and uh, he has won two championships in a row in the Xfinity series, but, but in the cop car is, is different. Uh, and uh, he knows that and I'm learning that. So I feel like we're now we're learning together instead of, um, you know, just learning myself. Uh, but uh, what is part of it? Uh, I like challenge and, and, and I feel like this year is going to be a big challenge for me. Here to Zach. Uh, Zach Albert, NASCAR.com. Daniel, you referenced uh, three years ago making your Xfinity debut here. What was the biggest thing you learned that night? And I guess in the three years since, which may seem like a long time, maybe not in some ways, um, what's the biggest thing you've learned since? Man, um, for me, it's crazy that it's been only three years. I feel like it's been more than that. Uh, just a lot of races, a lot of racetracks, and uh, and it's, it, it's been a lot of going on in, in, in three years for myself. I feel like I'm a different person and, and a different driver as well. Um, 
just learning about the team that that, that race I remember I remember that race like it was yesterday that race was more like a test for myself that Joey Racing gave me and uh, and even when the result wasn't good uh, because we had a flat tire uh, we run pretty competitive and we run in the in, in the top ten all all night long and uh, and it was a lot of fun and because that race we got the opportunity to do more and, and, and then eventually do a full season in 2015. So, uh, you know, it's just, it was very cool. And, and, and I, I never, I never, normally I don't think about these kind of, you know, things about, you know, debuts and stuff. But like I said, I saw it last week and I thought it was pretty interesting. All right. We'll go right here to Chris. Chris Knight, CatchFans.com. Uh, Daniel, have you settled in as far as your new cup ride with the team and, and don't feel like as much pressure as it was at the beginning of the season. You seem like it, you're just going at your own pace and not setting any expectations and just going out and, and getting better with each week. I think that's right. I mean, pressure is it, pressure is normal. Uh, I guess if you can handle pressure, you're in the wrong sport. Uh, but that's that's normal. We, we, we're going to have pressure all the time. And, and not just from, from the team, actually, from the team. I, I haven't had pressure at all about uh, from myself to myself, uh, that's, that's the way I am. Uh, I like to be competitive. I, I don't like to to run okay. I like to run in the front, and I like to win races. Uh, and uh, and I feel like we, we are getting better, uh, but there is still a long ways to go. We are making gains, and we are learning a lot of things. And and I just feel like we need more speed as a, as a, as an organization. Uh, you know, my team. I feel like we are learning some things, but definitely the speed that. Uh, that we need is not there yet. Uh, I feel like we are making gains, but uh, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we can we can keep getting better and, uh, and 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 you know get whatever we we got left in the table in the first seven eight races uh, and get that back in the in, in the next in the next three or four races. All right, we'll go right here to Lee. SpencerMotorsport.com. Forgive me if I if this has been asked since I got in here, but um, you know, given the recent um, announcement of Dale Jr. leaving, what do you and the other young drivers have to do to promote yourselves to make you that driver who is endear to endear yourself to the fans the way he has over the last two decades? I think I think it's very simple. It's just being yourself. Uh, I think. Every single driver out there in the garage has different personalities. Uh, Dale has his personality. Kyle has his personality. Jimmy Johnson has his personality. I have my personality. And uh, everyone is different. And, uh, and when, when every single driver can go out there to be himself, uh, I think that's very cool. And, and, and the fans like that. Uh, and, you know, so far is what I've been doing. And, and, I, and I think is the right thing to do. But. Uh, like I said, uh, overall, Dale has been more than a top, uh, than a role model for the sport, and uh, and, it, and it's great what he has done. Uh, like I said on Twitter last week, I'm kind of new into the sport, uh, but I have learned a lot from him in and out of the race. A great guy, a great driver, and uh, and I'm looking forward to 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 keep racing with him this year, and and and, and to keep hanging out with him as well in in, in the future. You're you're in a unique situation because you not only represent Daniel Suarez, you represent Mexico to a large degree. And in other ways, you've had a situation where your father worked on cars like his father worked on cars. You come from a blue collar work, you know, working background. Do you understand, you know, that is as part of perhaps the heritage of people and the cars and how that all plays into attracting the average race fan? Yeah, I mean, uh, every single driver out there, just like personalities, they, they have different background as well. Uh, you know, my family didn't come, didn't come from, from racing at all, just cars. And, uh, and slowly I started making my way into the race cars thing. And, uh, and fans love that, you know, fans like to know what is behind that driver, what is behind that driver, behind that, the racetrack, not just in the racetrack. So, I think I think it's very cool. Uh, I I really feel very lucky to be to be in this position to be here in NASCAR. Uh, it's been a it's been an, an amazing journey so far in the last six years here living in the United States, and uh, and I'm really excited and looking forward to the future as well. Great. Now we'll go back to Claire. Claire B. Lang, Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. On a lighter note, I was talking to your crew chief on air 
yesterday, and he said, I asked him about the identity of the team, what he's learned about the team, and he said that when Carl left, the food was so healthy in the hall, or all of the food was like this really healthy food. Uh, are you changing that? Is the team changing that slowly, where it will be sort of your choice and everybody will be uh, kind of having some more junk food in the hauler? You know, my, my truck driver in, in the Xfinity stuff, uh, he, he called me, uh, you know, he, he called me Danny, Daniel, and, but a lot of times he called me Salmon Guy because <laughs> I was asking him to make me Salmon every single day. And uh, I'm, I'm a very healthy person, and, and slowly I've made that, that direction in the Xfinity stuff last, in the last couple of years because I had exactly the same team. Uh, and now, now in the cup stuff, uh, we, we are going in the, in, this, in the same direction. Cada was the same way. Uh, and now, now slowly we, we, we are staying there. Sometimes, you know, truck drivers, they, they don't care about that. And, and some of the mechanics, they don't care about that. But uh, and they, they start going to a different direction. But you have to straighten them up and, 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 and put them back in, lane, in the lane. Great. Any more questions for Daniel? We'll go right here to Nate. Nate Ryan, NBC Sports. Daniel, you mentioned that you feel like your cars just need more speed. What, what do you hear from your, your three teammates? Because obviously, you're, you're in your first eight races of doing this and probably aren't fully aware of like what more speed is or what, what, what you need in terms of the, the, the cup environment. Are they saying the same things, or are they also saying it's, it's handling? Or what, what do you hear Denny and, and Kyle and, and Matt saying about the handling? Yeah, honestly, it's, uh, it's the same thing. We just, I mean, if you, if you think about it, by this point last year, uh, the team had already a few wins, and uh, right now we we have we have zero. So definitely there is there is some speed missing uh, as an organization, uh, but maybe we have one more step left as a team. I feel like as a team we are we are even one more step back than the than the rest of the guys, and that's normal. Uh, I'm new, my, my cruise ship is new, and, and, and pretty much if you change these two things, it's a brand new racing. Uh, everything else changed, the system changed. Uh, and I feel like we're going to get there. I mean, if you, if you think about it, last year in the Xfinity Series, we, we won the championship and, and we didn't start very strong. We won our first race until almost the second half of the season or, or in the middle of the season. So I think we're going to get there. Like I said, Scott is a very, very smart cruise ship. Uh, I, I don't think. I don't think I'm super smart, but I'm decent. So hopefully, we, so hopefully we can keep moving in the in the right direction. And uh, like I say, in the last couple of weeks, I feel like we've been a little bit better. Uh, hopefully, we can keep making those gains. Okay. Any more questions for Daniel? All right. Thank you, Daniel, for joining us. Good luck this weekend. Thank you, guys.